So how does that affect the stock market? So I think the stock market, if we had done this seminar, um, you know, a month and a half ago, two months ago, I would have said the stock market has a lot of room for upside. Um, for those of you who have been watching these for a while, in the beginning of the year, I said, I think the stock market's overvalued at least 20% and it's going to have to come down. Uh, that turned out to be about right. Um, and what my, and I thought the, you know, and this is public, you can check our YouTube or our blog where we, where we post this. You know, I said, I think the, the stock market's going to have to come down 20%. What my hope was, was that interest rates would go up slowly throughout the year. That did not happen. They went up very drastically. But my hope was that interest rates would go up slowly. Um, they would end the year at 2.2 to 2.5, although they're only at 2.8 today. So they're not that far out of that, the high end of that range. Um, but they had gone up to 3.5. So my hope was, was that interest rates would go up slowly. And that what's something called the PE ratio, which for those of you who have been watching these for a while, you know, but for those of you who don't, it's the price of a stock divided by the earnings, which is another word for profit. So if you divide the price of a share of a stock by its earnings, you get the PE ratio. Well, the PE ratio is usually around 15 to 17. It was 21 at the beginning of the year. It's just too high. Um, now, there's some reasons that you can support that. And part of those reasons were interest rates were really low. Um, but and I thought, okay, interest rates will come up a little bit. That's a little bit historically high. And my, my guess was the stock market was gonna be even to down 10%, but that companies were gonna make 10% more profit. And that's how we eat into the 20, right? If, if, companies pro if the stock market was even to down 10 and companies profits were up 10, that would shrink the PE ratio, right? From the stock market being overvalued 20% to somewhere between zero to 10. So either it would be fairly valued or down 10. Um, and that is really, I mean, we were, I was, I looked like an idiot three months ago because that, did not happen right we were everything was much worse than that but as the market has come back a little bit that's about in line so right now the stock market the s p 500 is down 12 percent um and earnings on companies are up about nine and i would assume by the end of the year that's going to be at least 10. um so i'm i think that um what you'll see is that as the price to earnings ratio shrinks a little bit that the stock market is what you'd consider fairly valued i would consider the stock market today fairly valued um, the PE ratio is probably around 17. Uh, it was 16.8. I know the other day we've had a couple of up days. So it's probably a little bit over 17 now. We're right at 17. Um, and that's pretty normal. So that, that's, I think, a fairly valued number. Um, as we start to get inflation down, which we can talk about that on the next slide. As inflation goes higher, as you can see here to the right, it means typically you can have a higher PE ratio. So higher valuations, another word for valuations is, is the, the ratio, that PE ratio. So you can have higher valuations on the stock market if inflation is lower. So right now, I think we're fairly valued. But as companies continue to make more money over, let's say, the next six to six to 12 months, and as inflation comes down, I think that you could see some relatively substantial growth to, to get back to where we were at the beginning of the year. But that's a lot more from now. You know, that's another 15 or 20 percent from where we are today. Um, and I don't think that's impossible, you know, over the next year or so to maybe get to assuming that the rate hikes that the Fed does creates a little bit more of a soft landing where the interest, where inflation does continue to come down, CPI and PPI, by the spring, that is way down into maybe like the four to four and a half, five percent range, um, but but trending down, right? Because you'll have a couple high months from, from this summer still, but where you've got maybe four to five percent and trending down. Um, then if the stock market, you know, is fairly valued now, I think that it's very reasonable to see some pretty substantial growth at that point. Um, and in a, in a, another reason that you can get that growth is our next slide, is that this is, and I don't think people really realize this, quite frankly, it's kind of a surprise to me when I look at it. Um, companies are making a lot of money, like a lot, a lot. Um, so as you can see here in 2019, that technical term, a lot, a lot. Um, as you can see here in 2019, the earnings per share, so the profit per share of a company on average, divided by the whole S&P 500, so the 500 biggest stocks in the, in the country. Um, in 2019, it was only $160, which was good at the time, actually. It was really good. Um, that has grown all the way to this year. We think we're going to be at 225. That is gigantic growth. You know, So when people say, oh, the stock market's up so much, it's too much government stimulus, it can't possibly stay like that. I don't know that that's right. Um, because if you're at, if you went from 160 to 225, that's what, 35 or 40% growth in the profitability of, of all companies throughout. I mean, so you're talking all, you know, 
healthcare, IT, automotive, consumer discretionary, materials, energy, the average earnings per share of all of the sectors in the United States is up by that much in just three years. So the stock market can, and again, that's where that price to earnings ratio comes in. The stock market is not overvalued right now, I don't think. Um, I, I, again, I thought it was at the beginning of the year, but I don't think it is now. Um, the problem at the beginning of the year was interest rates were also zero, uh, which we're going to talk about when we talk about bonds in a second. So, you know, we weren't super interested in buying bonds either. Um, the stock market was overvalued. So again, where do you go? Where, where do you put your money? So um, it was a little bit of a challenge before, but now it's not as much. You know, we're shying away from bonds. We're definitely shying away from emerging markets. Again, as our dollar goes up, it really hurts emerging markets a lot. Um, so we're shying away from them a little bit, but, you know, where the stock market is today, you know, at between 42 and 4,300 is very fairly valued based on the inflation rate that we have today, the profit, right? The earnings of the, of the companies today. Um, and I think where interest rates are, right? Those are probably the three things that I look at and say, well, now, um, so I think that those are the three things that I look at, and I think that it, it proves that the uh, the company or the companies are fairly valued. So again, here's the, you know, the the average consensus estimate is uh, is about you know S and P fair value, you know, would be 4,300 to 4,400, so a little higher than we have now, um, with the S and P earnings at 225, and I don't see any reason why that can't happen. Um, now again, we started the year at almost 4,800, so we'd still be you know a good 10% below where we started the year. Um, but those ranges are very reasonable. It means a little bit more in earnings, even where from where we are today, or a little bit more growth in the market. And again, and if you see interest rates start to come, excuse me, inflation start to come down by the end of the year, um, that will that will support even expanding multiples a little bit more. So LPL in January had this number, uh, this 43 to 4400, and they had it at 49 to 5100. So they've they've drastically changed their um, their end of the year estimates. They did that a couple months ago. Um, to, to that. And it looks like that is probably going to be about right uh, for where we are today. 